Do you guys know why you're here? No, sir. Not exactly, no. Well, um, one, thanks again for coming. Um, every year, this time of year, we start talking about giving towards growth. This year, it's December 9th. It's what we call Sacred Sunday, where our church gets together and we all sow into the next year. We thank God for what He actually has done in the current year. And then we are sowing towards what we're believing God to do in our next year. When did you guys first come to New Heights Church? When was that? I think originally? Yeah. It was... 2012. Y'all were about to be one year old, so I think it was five years ago? So 2012? 2012, wow. And you were here even before that a little bit, just from, uh, not here, because Mm -hmm. we weren't here, but but you guys have been from the very beginning. And would you say um, New Heights Church has had a, a great impact in your life? Absolutely. Tremendous. Undoubtedly, we've seen the hand of God on y'all's life here, but then also you guys make a great impact in our church. And that's why we have you here as well. There's a couple that would like to talk to you for a few minutes, and they just wanted to share a little bit of their story with you because so often the hectic nature of life, we can overlook some things or just uh, go too quickly past some celebrations. So there's a couple here that are very nice, very special. You, you know them, you love them already, but they just wanted to take a few minutes and share with you um, what you guys have actually sewn into and what New Heights has meant to them. Cool? That's yeah. really cool. Awesome. Well, you guys are wonderful. Give me just a minute and they'll be here. How are y'all? Good. I'm kidding. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. I know we, we've introduced ourselves before, but I'm Kit Mateka, and this is my wife, Tiffany. And Hi. we're just here to tell y'all what the seeds that y'all sow in here have not been in vain. And we just want to share a little bit of our story and our testimony with you. So I don't know if y'all know my testimony. Um, right. <clears throat> I knew it. <laughs> right before we started coming to New Heights, um, I was struggling with addiction issues. Alcoholism was the main source of my addiction. Um, so I remember vividly because it's around Caden's birthday, May 22nd is his birthday. On May 16th, we came to church. I had, um, we had been here, I think, a week before, right? One week. And uh, we came to church, you had taken Sutton, and at that point, you remember he was a screaming baby. I do, baby. I do, yes, so, of course. So, you know, me being anxious at the time, it really relieved me knowing that I could place him in good hands and that I could go to service that night. Um, I was struggling, and you didn't know at that time, but I was struggling with um, anxiety, depression. I was on three different medicines at the time to try to just find some source of relief. Um, and then the alcoholism as well. So that Wednesday that we came, you helped with my salvation, and you helped with me. I know, <laughs> I know. You helped me be able to come and receive God that night because that night I decided to give my life back, but I also decided to say goodbye to those things. So on May 17th is my sobriety date. It was the Thursday after that Wednesday where I came up and me and Pastor Larry, we prayed over it, and then the next day it was gone. A month to that date, I said goodbye to my antidepressants and my anxiety medicine. Wow. So I am now on the verge of six months sobriety from alcoholism alcoholism, and five months without any medication. And it's all because of what y'all have done. Y'all welcomed in with open arms. And y'all took my baby so I can go and receive God that night. So we appreciate everything that y'all do for us. And it's because of what y'all do for us that we're able to come receive the word. And so I can't tell you how much, I can't tell you how much it means to us. And I mean, since then, our family has, uh, it has grown deeper in our walk with Christ because of y'all uh, and New Heights Church. Uh, 
the members here welcomed us. And since then, as a, as a church in whole, our family has grown in bounds with our walk in, tri- in Christ. Now we have two beautiful boys who, who love Jesus, who love God, who love coming to church, who, who evangelize every day they go to school and tell everybody they know about New Heights Church. I love that. And, uh, I mean, our relationship has never been... It's been stronger. It's been a lot stronger um, since coming to church. And, and, uh, and now that you know, we've allowed God and our family even more than what we did before, it, it's, it's doing miracles. And it's through New Heights Church that this is... Uh, our family, you know, our support system. And, and it's because uh, of y'all. And, you know, up until, you know, that we found this church completely and totally 100% by accident. We were eating at a Cajun restaurant here in town. Razzies. <laughs> I don't uh, know if it hasn't been. Oh, we yes, we were good. talking to the waitress who was a friend of ours about, you know, we were looking for a new church home. Uh, we were trying to find something closer to town that we could go to a little more than what we had been. And we'd been jumping around. And uh, she told us about this wonderful couple that she had uh, waited tables on just here recently and how they'd been in there a few times and that they actually had a church right by where she lived. And how the family was just the sweetest people she'd ever met, and and they were just godly people, and how they uh, they just made her feel like you know this was where she wanted to be. Uh, she told us about where it was, and I mean that was a Thursday, Sunday morning. We were here in church at eight o'clock. From that first day, the from the the parking lot crew, Ray, he met us at the door with a with a with a smile and a handshake and welcomed us here. Uh, we walked through the door, Miss Lucretia and John. We didn't tell anybody it was our first time here. We feel ashamed about that. <laughs> we, we, we kind of snuck through the doors, and uh, we sat there in the third row, and and the first night we were here, it was just a blessing. It's because of you guys and, and the folks of New Heights Church that we have had a new sense of peace, that we feel loved more now than we have ever felt loved, and uh, there's not a day that goes by that we won't fight whatever needs to be fought to get to church on time so that we can, <laughs> we can try to to be, to be just like y'all we, we are striving to be that couple <laughs> and uh, we look we look up to y'all we look up to so many of the members here at new high school church pastor brian pastor crystal uh, miss ventress and mr donnie uh, john and miss lucretia and it's because of y'all that our faith has grown like there's no words to say how much it's grown and uh how much we love being here. Mm-hmm. And uh, from the first day we met Jake, I believe you're the first person's phone number I had whenever we come here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that first unspro- unbroken class, the, the third day we were, mm-hmm. third time we showed up to church. Yeah. And uh, we were just in there. It was just the two of us and you. And, <laughs> and you, sh- you shared your testimony and your faith with God. And New Heights Church has, has meant so much in our lives. And we, uh, we just thank you all. And we appreciate y'all so much. Can I give you another hug? Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Kip Matega. And I'm Tiffany Matega. And thank you for giving Towards Growth. Because of you, we are part of the growth that you gave to.